Welcome to Sapienza 47. Thank you, Diana. We've done a lot of opportunities already, and we're gonna finish up with a couple of cool ones. Starting off, I'm gonna go straight to the left rather than the right, as we've done every time so far. There's apparently been an accident. Today is the anniversary of Isabella Caruso's death. Silvio Caruso will be visiting her grave and has ordered a fresh bouquet of flowers. His visit would be a good time to catch him alone. That is, provided the flowers ever arrive. I'm sure I can help with that. Fine, fine, forget it. I'll manage somehow. Wouldn't want to be a bother. I always feel a little bad for this guy. There's no easy way to sort of stash him away so he doesn't get discovered, so either I wait for him to get discovered or I sort of just kind of push him down and kill him. Ah well. We're good to go. delivery for uh, Silvio Caruso. We can't exactly enter here because I still have my gun. So, let's try the roof entrance. Greetings, sir. Greetings. Flowers for Mr. Caruso. Ah, excellent. You can leave them on Mrs. Caruso's grave in the garden. Come along, I'll show you the way. Yes, the loyal butler will show us the way. Go straight Just to Isabella's grave. So, down the stairs, near the cliff. You can't miss it. I will inform Signor Caruso. He will be pleased, no doubt. Thank you. Just doing my job here. Good work, 47. This should keep Caruso distracted for a while. The ruins over here are a little bit interesting. There's some, some cool things over there. Can't exactly go there right now, since those guys seem a little bit interested. But we will be there later on in this video. For now, we're just gonna sit here and wait. Let's sneakily keep an eye out. Soon enough, Caruso will be here. Pay his respect to his... monster of a mother. That is Silvio Caruso. No, don't argue. Just get out. If Ether wants to claim me, they can send me a memo. Go. That really is the mistake all of these people do. Decide they need some privacy, so they send their bodyguards away.
in this world. You always said I thought too highly of myself. You were wrong. I know what you went through alone in this mansion. Husband, dead, abandoned by your favorite sons, single mother, to an unlovable child. had shown such promise could have become anything but you settled for a life of convenience and when you finally realized your mistake it was all too late well guess what mother worse fates than yours have befallen members of the human species. Others have managed to bear the burden more gracefully. You made me feel I was worthless. I will never forgive you. Part of me wishes you were here, Mother. mother you all over again don't worry Silvio I'll bring you to her target down next up Francesca DeSantis well this is handy a little bit Brutal, but definitely efficient. For the next go-around, we're starting undercover in the mansion as a gardener. That is Silvio Caruso. I have a few minutes to spare, Roberto. Why don't we practice? Service group. Yeah, let's see your move. Not bad. Definitely improved. And just remember, the back swing starts with the rotation, not with the hands. As the body rotates, the arm simply follows. And the hands maintain the same grip pressure throughout. Grip pressure. Roberto, what do you think of Miss DeSantis, the woman who runs my lab? She's a striking woman, to be sure. Uh, we've only talked briefly. Uh, I'm sure you haven't done much talking. Caruso, sir, I don't know what you've heard, but I can assure you. It's it's fine. You're young. Young men have needs. I wouldn't want to get in the way. Nature. I must get back. We can pick this up later. I believe I'm getting ahead. Silvio is so delightfully awkward. It's great. Now that he's left, we can leave a little bit more safely. The main thing we're after right now is a useful disguise. So let's throw out the trusty coin. A lot of people dislike the coins because you can throw a lot of random things instead of the coins, but I like them. I think they're they're very handy. I 
not here near the entrance to the observatory, we get to listen to a bit of an interesting conversation between these two housekeepers. Russo put the tapes away after his mental breakdown. The doctors didn't think it was a good idea for him, you know, seeing his mother's ghost and all. Ah, oh, right. Well, if we could borrow the projector sometime, I... According to staff, Caruso has a nostalgic streak and keeps a crate of VHS tapes from his childhood somewhere in the observatory. Apparently, he used to watch them on the projector, but stopped after his mental breakdown. I suggest you locate those tapes. Could be just what we need. A bunch of old horror films on DVD. I've got The Haunting of Buildingford Manor. Hey, nice. You are on, my friend. Luckily, the tapes are quite close. feel like we should probably drop the shotgun now. The benefit of this disguise is that people don't really raise their eyebrows at you running around with a giant gun on your back. There's a challenge involving a sniper rifle and this is pretty much the perfect disguise to use it because you can't really conceal the sniper rifle obviously. Crusoe's already inside. That shouldn't be a problem. He leaves, but um, he'll be back soon. Very becoming, 47. Now keep still. Caruso won't be long. Come back to me or I will find 47 ways 
much or at least to make you mine. <laughs> the taste of wine turns bitter for that time. There were candles burning when we made it up. I see your light in cabin now as your feet were passed and those dirty hands were the cold. I watch what's wrong and drink to his fill. Get rid of him, or I swear I will be torn and I'm begging you, come back to me, be torn and I follow you, I'm watching you, be torn and Only death comes for you, Silvio. Talk it down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. 47 ways to make you mine. This is one of, if not my favorite ways to take him out. It's so unique. For the last and final run we're doing in Sapienza. Ethos Field Lab, you made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. We're starting undercover in the lab. It's pretty much the fastest way to sort out the virus immediately. Ah, oh, that looks promising. Mental note. Ask Guillermo to run a control experiment. As far as I know, there's actually not that many different ways to yeah, deal so with the virus. The keeps all the research data. Keeps this stuff pretty close to her chest. Why? We all signed an NDA the size of a phone book. Yeah, well, there was this incident a while ago. The made a copy of the pretty much just have to get in there and either just overheat it or shoot it. But there are some variations we can do. For example, once we get inside, we can distract people in a couple of different ways. You can distract these two guys by the computer thing, which I did before, and then you can also mess with the DNA samples. Warning, dangerous compound. Warning, dangerous compound. Combine those two marked. Gets the attention of one guy. You sabotage this computer, you get the attention of the other. After that is just taking them out. Now we just switch back to the lab technician outfit. Okay, so what Make our way right over right. here. Well, this is the control panel for the air purification system. We're at a critical stage of development, and we keep the central lab perpetually doused in chemicals. In case of an outbreak. Yes. We use a unique compound that breaks down the protein coating, which protects the virus, effectively killing it by damaging its DNA and RNA so it neither infects cells nor replicates within the cells. Belts and suspenders, huh? You better believe it. In its natural state, the prototype could infect and kill everyone inside this lab in a matter of minutes. The most ferocious organism you've ever seen. <laughs> now all we have to do is tame it. Anyway, the air purification system clears the toxin, so you can enter without a hazmat suit. Just don't do it unless you're in a hurry. Thank you. Duly noted. Now we just wait for Francesca to show up. And right on cue... That is Francesca DeSantis. Since we destroyed the virus, she's really curious. Wants to see what happens. It's Francesca. I'm coming inside. Engaging the air purification system.
oddly specific. Caruso's like a monk, and this is his crusade. Eh, uh, you're not wrong. Uh, you knew a little bit about his past, but no mind. And now, the rest is child's play. You shouldn't play with chemicals, Francesca. They're dangerous. Target down. Next up, Silvio Caruso. Virus destroyed. One target remaining. Now, we move to Silvio. And as we've seen before, the Biolab security outfit is one of the best. So I'm gonna borrow yours. should be happy to have you on his staff. Well, thank you. According to the medical journal, Caruso suffered a breakdown last year. He claims to have found his mother's favorite record playing in the empty dining hall and seen her chairlift move by itself. Upon hearing the service bell ring in Isabella's old bedroom, Caruso entered alone and was later found unconscious by his staff. He claims to have no recollection of what he witnessed inside. Now that is interesting. This is perhaps one of the cruelest way to take out Silvio, but let's go for it. First time I tried this, I used the mansion staff disguise, thinking it would make sense that I was running around messing with things. But actually, it's just there's so many of the staff that they easily recognize me. So, the biolab security guy with a shotgun on his back? That's the way to go. This is completely unacceptable. Angelina saw a rat inside the great dining hall. Don't think you can slack off just because Master Caruso is too busy to notice. I intend to run a tight ship. This is hardly my fault. Blame the genius who let the test rats out in the first place. This is a traveling circus. Nothing like one Mrs. Caruso. That is Silvio Caruso. I'm not suggesting that Signor Caruso, your employer, is somehow responsible for your oversights. Get this problem under control, Mrs. Baggio, or start polishing up. Step one complete. Step two. Step 
you gotta make sure you time it here. So the Caruso hears each individual part. Once he's up here. It's time for step three. There's a couple of different hiding places you can hide here, but I wanted to try to hear him through the door, but it's quite difficult. But if you just listen carefully, you might make out some of it. Eventually decides to make his way into the room alone. Good show, forty seven. Now do put the poor soul out of his misery. Hello? Now this would be the easy way to take him down. Is anyone in here? Mother You idiots! I need help. Follow me and stay low. But I have another plan in mind. Forty-seven. Caruso is heading for his seaplane. Don't allow him to escape. All right, we're on a timer here. Well, we could either just try to chase him down and shoot him in the face with our shotgun, but I have a better plan. You can pretty much straight follow him if you want and see the exact path he takes. But he said seaplane, and we remember where the seaplane is. It's down near the lab. I even take the wrong path here for a while. Oops. There he is. So, either we take him out before he hits the seaplane, or we leave. Caruso has reached his plane 47. Whatever you plan to do, do it now. The ruins. It's one of the places we've been in the least in this playthrough. But I did tell you there were some cool things here. Such as a cannonball, a bag of gunpowder, and a cannon. I bet you're feeling pretty safe right now, Silvio. You shouldn't. 
No one escapes, Agent 47. Very nice, slick looking speedboat. And we're out of here. Thank you very much for watching Hitman Episode 2 Sapienza. That's it for now. I'll be back when Episode 3 is released. I'll see you then. Eat the security's in the dark about the incident. A few of the company knew about the virus, not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. ICA did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. I'll take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even.